My question was, did, were you considering closing it down during those Multiple times? times. That, yeah. And I'm sure since you borrowed money from family or friends, like that must've been really hard. So how did you deal with that? I chose not to. Um, because at that time, obviously, if we going to keep calling and, and talking to them about it, um, they didn't get more and more anxious about it. So I chose to completely block them out because I felt very strongly that this will, this will work out. Um, you know, cause they, as an investor, they don't come to the restaurant every day, so they can't yeah. really see it. Yeah. For me, I felt it every day. I felt wow. more people were coming in. I felt like my regulars are coming back. I felt we were doing really well. Um, we just didn't, um, perform the way that they would expect. And so, yes, it was very difficult at times when I uh, had conversation with them or phone calls, um, the doubt, the, you know, bombardment of questions. And I just decided to tune it out and give myself um, the last three months to really write it out. Uh, I did talk to a few business friends, too, about selling it, about giving up, um, you know, this restaurant. But, you know, that's about expert advice, right? Um, when you talk about somebody, most people are going to tell you to give up because from the outside looking in, it's, it's just too, too difficult. Like, how are you going to make it work? Um, but there's a couple of few that uh, did tell me that you have something special here, hang on to it. And, uh, and one other person that was uh, sticking with me through thick and thin would be my wife at that time. Oh, my girlfriend at that time, my wife now. But she was telling me that, you know, I saw the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Let's stick through this. I think we can make it through.